Okay, this one isn't a vocal one, but I've seen some videos of them on YouTube. I haven't seen a live version. I'm really interested to hear them live. And also, I mean, this is a great tune. If it starts with a drum solo like this, you know it's gonna be good. <laughs> Ooh, watch that. <laughs> Man, I love seeing rock in opera houses as well. A grunge. Yes! Holy moly! Woo! Oh my god! Wow! He's gonna need a nap! This evening after all that. Oh, that's weird. Incredible. <laughs> we need the conductor. Mr. Conductor, come on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we rock together with the orchestra? Oh, this guy is so good. Okay. He's already broke. He's <laughs> But everything that applies to the performance of singing applies to instruments and although I don't know anything so technically about um, you know playing drums or playing cello um, here the ability to rock out and then also the ability to come back and be gentle the beautiful vibrato I feel like the cello is so close to the voice in tone or at least some people's voices and um, if you can sound like a cello well yeah, I think you've done pretty good. <laughs> or a well-played cello. See how he's using his vibrato to make it seem more legato? At the end there, he didn't use any, and you know that he, that means he's about to rock out a little bit. strings that's when they pluck it yeah so like that's really clever how he's using things like the slides um no vibrato on this it's really echoing the way that you would play it on a guitar as well Using some distortion as well. This is so cool. Oh, 
unexpected change of scale. Here we go! Combining a beautiful instrument with some classical techniques and then some techniques that are very far away from um, what people would normally uh, use on cello or some contemporary um, classical music. But it is an amazing combination that is it's so emotive. It's beautiful. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.